Hey guys and girls, Bartender Vince here. I wanted to give you a little bit of a review of this juice presser that I love so much. The uh, last video was just a little bit of operation, how to get it to work efficiently and be good for you, but this one's gonna give you a little bit more breakdown about its uh, quality and components. So this whole thing is made out of some pretty heavy metal and uh, pretty solid and stout. I wanna get it. Hey guys and girls, it's Bartender Vince here. I am doing a little bit of a video for you just to show you a little bit more of the quality of this great juice press that I love so much. The um, last video I did was just more of how to use it to get all the juice out, but this one's going to be a little bit more of a breakdown and actual review. So, this thing is pretty solid and stout. It's made out of heavy metal. This You don't want this to fall on you. The uh, quality is good for what I do. It's got real solid back uh, here, as well as good heavy base to keep it solid as best as it can. The feet, if you could hear that, have a little bit of a suction cup to them. So on a flat smooth surface, it will allow you to keep it more stable. Now, the components. Here you've got the swing arm to juice and press, like the last video showed. Squeeze it down. It comes with this cup that's going to line up into some notches down in the bottom of the base here and you just line it up, boom, it falls right into place, give it a twist, it locks the cone in the middle where it's perforated and allows all the juice to go through. It does the same thing, some notches cut into it, some divots pu pushed into the side, give it a twist, doesn't come back out. The top hat, as I like to call it, is just a threaded cup, goes into the draw bar up here, Thread it in all the way, give it a little bit of a snug, don't want to do it too tight, otherwise you're not going to get it back out. And those components should all go and line up nicely when you give it a check like this. These components are all stainless steel here. All this is chrome plated so it's easy cleanup. With juicing lemons, limes as much as I do, you want to clean it daily after each use. Uh, don't let it sit or the acid, the acid out of the uh, juice will start to eat away the coating and you once that happens you're going to start getting rust and bacteria and you're going to need to buy a new one. Save yourself the time and money, just clean it up front. Now one of the things I've noticed is that these pivot points are bolts. So like with any other bolt on the planet, it can back out unless you watch it. So I notice on mine, this right side over here, it actually does twist and turn. So every now and then, I just check them all to make sure they're snug and tight. You got one, two, three, four, five, six for the pivot points. One of the things I suggest is going out and buying yourself some thread locker, something like Loctite, and uh, put it on the threads, thread it in, let it dry. Once it's dry, they don't back out. This thing is pretty solid, pretty stout. I love it. When I take it to clients' events, the uh, guests are just awed. Uh, Completely astounded that I'm actually juicing fresh lemons and limes. Last item is just the handle. It gets threaded on. It's pretty solid too. Don't drop it. It's going to hurt. Thread it on. Give it a little bit of twisting. Done. Again, don't crank it down. You're not going to get it back off. Nice rubber handle grip. Contour design for a good fit. And just like that. Again, stainless steel inside components chrome plated base, back, everything is solid and stout. I love it. A uh, quick tip for you guys, do not leave the handle up. If you're working on a portable folding table, then with all the vibration and shaking, it's going to come down and hit you. You don't want that. So whenever you're done, you're not using it, just keep that handle down and even go the extra step as to unscrew it. If you're busy pumping out, doing a lot of work, leave it in place, but just definitely keep it down so nobody gets hurt. That's my uh, review of this awesome juice press. Again, it's available on Amazon.com. You can find them there. I suggest going down to your local retail for um, restaurant supplies. You can find all your stuff there. But depending on where you are, you may not have that. So online, local restaurant supply store, you can find these things. They're awesome. Uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. You guys, have a great day, and raise the bar, and toasting the spirits.